Cooper, the president needs you right now. I didn't think I was gonna make it. We'll get you there. I'm Agent Devereaux, Office of the President. There's a storm. Copy. Packages in route. The National Weather Service has issued a significant weather advisory for the Mid-Atlantic region of the East Coast. April, my car died. I'm with the Secret Service now. It's not looking good. I'm almost there, Finn. Please be safe. Do you hear me? I know. I love you. Can you radio ahead? Right. Copy. Pick up an escort up ahead. Hang on, Mr. Shepard. <laughs> I am so sorry about that. Thank God you made it. Colonel Shepard make it in yet? I'm sorry, there's been no word on the Colonel. How soon can you get in touch with the National Weather Service? Soon. But the President started. I gotta get you in there right now. Here, time to clean up. Come on, Mom, let's go. Careful, slow down. You got a little one in there. I've done this many times before. <laughs> oh, well, you had two hands then. Really? <laughs> You're gonna go there? <laughs> I'm just saying it's okay to ask for a little help. Besides, your husband should be here. And where is he? Oh, he's probably trying to get eaten by another shark. The National Weather Service is now reporting that a massive tropical storm is heading directly for Washington, D.C. The NASA Weather Satellite Center is tracking the tropical depression and recommends residents make arrangements to evacuate if necessary. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States. Ladies and gentlemen, for his heroic actions in both New York and Los Angeles, for saving countless lives and alerting the world to a new terrifying threat, it is my great honor to present the country's highest civilian commendation, the Presidential Medal of Freedom, to Finley Allen Shepard. shark storms, Madam Vice President. I feel for the sharks, but they're wrecking our schools, our hospitals, our roads. It's heavier than I thought it would be. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, Miss Alves from the Times, one question, okay? Yeah, hey, so now that you've been awarded the biggest award in all of the country, Mr. Shepard, where do you go from here? Home. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, Mr. Benchley from the Post. Mr. Benchley. Ben. Oh, Martin. How you doing, man? Ellen, the kids? She's good, she's good. She, she says hi, she wanted to be here, but it's kind of hard for her to get on a plane now, you know what I'm saying? Madam Vice President, this is my brother-in-law, Martin. I'm the good-looking one. <laughs> yeah, now you know how I feel. I like her. Mr. Shepard, follow me, please. Thanks, Sharknado. Sharknado. Cool. You don't mind if I post it, do you? No. Cool. Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. Ben, I got a surprise for you, buddy. Mayor of New York City. It's good to see you again, Finn. Hello, sir. 
by way of a thank you from the people of the city of New York, we want to present you with this. You are the very first member of the Order of the Golden Chainsaw. Go ahead, sir. Sidekick to the rescue. Go ahead, get out of here. Ladies and gentlemen, I was in New York too. I'm friend's brother-in-law. I have the documents you asked for. NWS? Yes. Thank you. Hi, I'm Jackie Collins, and um, I know your wife wrote a book, and uh, it's very good, but you, you have a great story to tell, and I wanted to be the one to tell it. And here is my card, and call me, okay? Thanks, I'll give it some thought. Okay. What a lovely man. The National Weather Service now reports the storm is only a few miles from the D.C. area and stand by for evacuation orders. Not again. They used to call me a shark, but now I'm looked upon as a beacon of hope, a symbol of change. It comes with a lot of responsibility, Finn. But you'll get used to it, the spotlight. The spotlight I can handle. It's not what I'm worried about. DC isn't safe. What? I know how this is gonna sound, but I can sense these storms now. The drop in temperature, the humidity, these crazy cloud formations. These sharks, they have a scent, and it's not a pretty one. I lost a friend in New York last year. I'm sorry. Every time a Northeaster comes off the Atlantic, I worry. Is this going to be the big one? Is this going to be one we can't contain? I need to speak to the NWS. I can make that happen. Where's the First Lady? She's in Oklahoma with the family. They're OK. We better get you inside, Mr. President. Now. The storm is getting close. Get the President down to the bunker.
policy was to save the sharks. Nobody attacks my house. This time it's personal. Looks like the rules have changed. Love the new hair, by the way. Oh, thank you. I like it, too. Okay, birthday girl. Have some fun. Get in a little trouble. All right, I will. <laughs> are you sure your friends are inside? Yeah, they're there. Okay. Well, I want to see you home by 9. I'm 18. 10. Mom! 11. Okay, bye. Love you. Have bye, fun. little growing thing. <laughs> Okay, let's take the bus back to the Cabana Bay Resort. I want to walk in. It's here, let's walk. Hi, welcome to Universal Orlando Resort. Thank you. You bet. We got a long way to go. To get, 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 Hey, baby. 
Lady, sorry to call sooner. I was getting worried. Well, they grounded all the flights out of D.C. Rented a car. Martin's on his way to New York. He's fine. What about you? It's all good. The doctor said the baby's doing great. As long as it's healthy and I'm there when it's born. That's all I care about. Okay. Uh, so you're coming home? Yeah, I'm gonna drive straight through. I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, I have a few things to say if he wants to talk to me. <laughs> all right, I love you. Bye. Okay, bye, baby. I'm Matt Lauer, along with Savannah Guthrie, the Today Show reporting live now from Washington, D.C., following the violent storm that devastated this capital area yesterday. The Washington Monument, the White House, not far from where we are right now, both destroyed by the worst Sharknado this country has seen since the first formation two years ago. We can now go live to Hoda and Kathy Lee. They are broadcasting from Universal Orlando. No, there's no indication that there's any storm on the horizon here. No, is there? Beautiful blue skies. People are hanging out in their thongs. It's By the great. way, we're just having a good, time. good old time. <laughs> I've got a couple of VIP treatment, front of the line express passes for you. Great, you want me to walk you up? Yeah. Um, I heard your dad save the president. Oh, yeah, that's my dad. Ruler of the universe, savior of mankind, with his almighty chainsaw. Oh, <laughs> be good to him. You know, he's the only dad you have. Well, I'm Babs, and I'm here to help you out with anything you need. Well, I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks. Now, remember, these passes allow you full access to the park, front of the line, great. Good. Jess, hey! Hi! You look so good! Your yeah. hair is amazing! Yes. Super rebellious! Oh, yes. yes! Hey, Dad, Mom's worried about you. I hope you called her first. Of course I did. Wait, are you here? If I turn around, are you gonna surprise me? No, I'm just outside of DC. I'll surprise you tomorrow, though. Well, it's not a surprise if you tell me. Okay, see you soon, Dad. Just put your phone and your purses over in the cupboard over there. Oh, okay. And then step over here for Thank the front row experience. I'm fun. <laughs> On second thought, I'm actually gonna sit this one out. Go ahead. Good. Front row seats. You a single rider over here. Okay. Perfect. Look at this. All right. It's time for the Bruce to let the rocket loose. Here we go! We go right now to NBC News correspondent Tom Levinson, who is about to interview Congresswoman Michelle Bachman. Well, as I understand it, the President of the United States called for an immediate evacuation of all of the cities that are on the eastern seaboard of the United States, but it's still very premature. And do you know anything about the nature of these shark storms? Uh, are they growing in size? It, it appears that they are, but no one knows for sure. It's still premature. I'm sorry, Tom. I've got to go. I've got to get to a boat. Hell no! Oh, hell no! Really? Claudia. <laughs> Fun, right? <laughs> yeah. You enjoy it? Yeah. Enjoy the ride? Yeah. I have things. Now remember, if you need anything else here at Universal Orlando, just ask the bags. Right. Okay. Thank you. All right. I'll have fun, you. guys. She forgot her phone. Hey, your phone. They always come back. This is the Heidi and Frank Show, and we are covering the destruction and mayhem that is Washington, D.C. right now. The shark tornado has pretty much destroyed everything in sight. Traffic continues to be at a standstill on I-95. You might want to try Route 17. I don't blame the sharks on this destruction. I blame one Finn Shepard. It seems like everywhere he goes, destruction follows. Do not think it's a weather anomaly. I think he has a plan, and wherever he goes, he destroys. Nobody else survived yet. Finn Shepard and his family seem to always survive just fine. We'll be back in just a moment, right here on The Heidi and Frank Show.
have here on loan from NASCAR, Brad Keselowski stock car, along with the Xfinity stock car. These are the exact replicas of Brad's car, and he will be here today on site to sign autographs for all of you after the Daytona 500. You didn't look very Semper Paratus in that ditch. I rode to the car, I had to improvise. How'd you know where I was? I've been tracking all this activity since LA. Teamed up with Lucas and we decided to learn all that we could. Plan ahead, saving as many lives as possible. Of course, slaying sharks along the way. And um, the tracking app showed that you were close. Tracking app? You know where I'm at at all times? Friends are supposed to look out for each other, right? Yeah. You know, as a matter of fact, that works both ways. Nova, where have you been? It's been over a year since I've heard from you. I was worried. If you really wanted to find me, you could have. There was a lot of work to get done. A lot of it. She's quite obsessive, a little bit insane, bordering on Savannah, and uh, rocks leather like no one I've ever met. Yeah. If the world goes to hell, it's her you want by your side. The feeling's mutual. April's due any day. I was on my way to Orlando to meet up with her and Claude. You're having a baby. Another, another child. The April. Didn't you? A guest. Lucas Stevens. Yeah, sorry, this is Lucas. He helps maintain the beast. You travel with your own mechanic now? Well, mechanic slash bodyguard. Anyway, I gotta check the data. I think you're gonna love what we've done with the place. Come on. I don't know whether to be impressed or concerned. Hey, Lucas, we got intel on the big storm you were asking about. The data on Washington is still coming in. Great, send it over. Who are you talking to? Intel on its way. Nova and I made a pact that we wouldn't tell anybody where we get our top I secret information. I have some connections over at the NWS. What we've done, what we do, what we can do, it's polarizing. You know, we're still getting crap for bombs in the tornado, but the collateral damage that the tornadoes made themselves was worse than anything the bombs could have done. But at the end of the day, with a crazy chick with post-traumatic shark disorder, my abnormally genius best friend, and the man with the chainsaw, I mean, no one else can get the job done like we can. Boy, have you changed. We analyzed every aspect of the storms in LA and New York. That Freon thing you did in New York was way cool, by the way. What'd I say? I lost my friend Sky in that storm. She sacrificed herself for April and me. I'm so sorry. Finn, hey, um, I've been wanting to show you this. Look, I think this is where you found me. I mean, I got the swallowed hole, and there's no way I could have passed the intestines. You need to let this go. It's over. This isn't over at all. It won't be over until we figure out why this is happening and why it keeps coming back. Or what? Or we can just kill them all. Just kill them all. Shoot. Bang. Nova, relax. You know you can find some pretty amazing things in a shark's gut. License plates, sneakers, mini trampolines, anything they swallow in the ocean. But you know what the most common thing regular sharks eat? Fish. Yes, fish. But Sharknado sharks, they eat something that regular sharks don't. Birds. And look, this one. In this one, we found ice. They're staying up in the clouds for long periods of time. They're surviving up there, Finn. The storm in Washington got sucked up right into the sky. I've never seen anything like that before. It's the only reason I'm alive. Yeah, well, I mean, tornadoes in general, they touch down, dissipate, and reform all at low pressure zones. The entire East Coast is a low pressure zone. updates and so that's how we know it's on its way. But Internet's gonna go down. You can uh, sit in your basement hiding from the apocalypse if there is all you want. Uh, but okay, let's talk names. Well, if it's a girl, I like the name Brittany. Ooh, I know a Brittany once. She was horrible. <laughs> how about June? No, April, May, June. That's ridiculous. Finn, you could really use your help. I have a thousand questions, especially about New York. No, no. I'm going to Orlando. April's expecting me. We're starting a new chapter in our lives after all she's been through. 
And you. And me. We could just drive you. To Orlando. No, but the plan. I thought we have work to do. I mean, we've been tracking this formulation for eight months. You said so yourself. Focus, no detours. This isn't a detour, Lucas. The eye of the storm is heading south. We've been, we've been tracking it. You know this. Come on. Well, there's less safe ways I can get down there. Yeah. Let's do it. No, bud. This is supposed to be our thing. Excuse me, on, excuse me. Um, sorry to let you know that we're gonna have to turn you two in. You're what? Oh, okay, you'll have to get through me first. Should I be afraid? Have you ever met someone who survived a Sharknado? No, but my boy survived the uh, alligator apocalypse. How about that? Alligator. God, it's kinda cute. Whose idea was the beast? Mine. These storms are getting more frequent and they're growing in size. Someone's got to prepare for what's really coming. And we can't always assume that you're going to be the one that saves the day the next time the big one hits. Oh yeah, so this is the answer? Saved you, didn't it? Is it strong enough to survive a storm as big as New York or Los Angeles? She sure is. We have a failsafe. These new storms are completely unpredictable. I saw a formation about 50 miles ahead. Come on. Time to play. Living on the edge, eh, Nova? What if it's a boy? Well, Finn likes the name Charles. Charles Shepard? I read somewhere that 25% of all serial killers are named Charles. You did not read that. You just don't like the name. Huh. but multiple pockets of Sharknadoes developing, and that cities up and down the eastern seaboard are being put on red alert, Natalie. Hey, sweetie. Finn, are you okay? I got into some trouble on the road. Are you gonna be home soon? Yeah, come on. You're never gonna guess who's giving me a ride. Let me guess. Nova. Yeah, with Nova. How do you know that? Who else would give you a ride in the middle of a Sharknado? Wifey sense. Hi, April. Still not a stripper. Yeah, okay, I should be there by morning. But I just heard this trough is moving into Florida, and I know you can take care of yourself, but you're playing ninja for two now, okay? So promise me you'll stay safe. Finn, we got some trouble here. A shark fell from the sky. It came out of nowhere. Okay, you need to find Claudia and get somewhere safe. Let's just go. This is office, sir. You know, earlier we did some stuff that I, I'm not proud of, so let me make it up to you. Just gonna ride. Come on, come with me. We could, you know, I'm fishing here. Don't leave me hanging. Let's go. Okay. There we go. You're cute, come on. Gotta love best friends. Yep. We just received this exclusive new footage. It shows the very moment when the Sharknado touched down on the Smithsonian right here in Washington, D.C. I have to tell you, this video is very graphic. 
Today we induct another cultural icon, the pants of Jared Fogle of Subway. By eating fresh at Subway, we're making healthy habits. <laughs> so, what's it like having a famous dad? What's it like having a tool for a best friend? Um, uh, yeah, okay, I get it. Don't wanna live in a shadow, be your own person. Did you dye your hair to make a statement? <laughs> I was just kidding. Uh, it's true. It's fine. Don't worry about it. She's such a flirt. <laughs> They're made for each other. Pretty much. Guys, we have a little problem. We just missed the storm. Or it missed us. We gotta circle back. Take the long way back north. No, no, we're going this way. It's the quickest way south. The bridge is gone. We can't go that way. I'd get you to an airport, but you know the flights are grounded. We're near Charleston, right? Yeah. Okay. Not all the flights are grounded. Sorry, the base is on lockdown. No visitors. Sergeant, my name's Finn Shepard. Is General Gottlieb still the commanding officer here? Finn Shepard. The Finn Shepard, the Medal of Freedom kills sharks with a chainsaw, saved LA, New York, and the President of the United States, Finn Shepard. Yeah, that Finn Shepard. And I'm the Easter Bunny. Y'all better move along and take this mystery machine with you. I am Finn Shepard. General Gottlieb is a personal friend of mine. Can you please get him on the phone and tell him I'm here to see him? Looks good, Sergeant Warren. All right, I'll call the CEO. Wait here. Thank you. You can go in. The general will meet you there. Thank you. Yeah, you better hurry. The base is being evac. They're saying that there's no way to predict when one of these storms might hit. So they're sending all the planes in. I really hate sharks. Yeah, you and me both. Could be worse. Could be zombies. And Lucas. Nice to meet you. Heard your son's doing a tour. That's right, another eight months. I'll look out for him. Appreciate that. You gotta take the hell of a time to shoot the breeze. Apparently, the storms are getting dangerously close together. Noah's monitoring them every second. One of my computer modeled scenarios was a large locus cell with multiple sharknados. If enough of them merge, the whole storm must have to rotate. Merging sharknados? Shark again. Can there be such a thing? I could be wrong. Biometeorology is not really an exact science yet. If the storm heads south, it's gonna get warmer and it's gonna get stronger. Could destroy the entire East Coast. That's what the Pentagon said, too. We've almost evac the whole base. I'm about to get on the last transport. We're heading up to Indiana. General, I need a plane. My family's in Orlando. Yeah, I know. That's what they told me. I've got one last plane you can still take. It's an old one. We called her Bessie. We still use it for training. Come on. Sergeant Rock will take care of you from here. Be safe. Good luck. Mr. Finn, the General speaks very highly of you. And since he's letting you take old Bessie up, I assume you know how to fly. Yeah, a little bit. My son taught me how. But she's supersonic. I can fly. She can do anything. I've got over 100 hours in a T-38, plus demo flights in an F-14, F-15, and F-22. Well, what did you think I've been doing since L.A.? Semper Paratus, right? The world is ending, Finn. You need to be prepared. You don't believe that. It's not ending. Uh, yeah, I do. The signs are all around us. Just because it's raining sharks and not frogs doesn't mean it's not coming to an end. Well, I'm not gonna buy into any doomsday scenario. My family needs me. Ma'am, your bird's all gassed up, flight suit's in the back.
So who taught you how to fly? Same person as you. Matt? Before he deployed.
right where we want to be. It's still going straight to voicemail. There's an app for everything and you don't have one to find your daughter? We actually have one. Great idea. You complain about me hovering. Uh, Xfinity just popped up. That's the Wi-Fi. Okay, this is impossible. We're 50 miles from the ocean. The apps are over here. Come on, let's go get Claudia and Jess. Maybe she's up here. I gotta go. I gotta go. Wait. Okay, let's follow me and stay close. Here. Oh, please. Here. Take my picture. Please, please. Take my picture. Real fast. There's no time for this. You have to get out of here. Nova, come on.
to me. Claudia! Claudia, I was worried sick about you. Finn! Don't do that again! I just got dizzy with all the tumbling. I guess you're used to that, Sophie. You never get used to this. Finley, I can see why she loves you. Glad you're okay, Mom. Hey, we have to go. Mom, I love you. This is a scenario that Lucas modeled. If these Sharknados merge, they can take out the entire East Coast. He produced two plans, but I don't think we can go through with either of them. Why is that? Because look, for this one, it involves letting the storms merge first. What else we got? Uh, this one involves several nuclear weapons. All right, let's get back to the first plan. Well, for this one, we're probably gonna need NASA. NASA? Yeah, we need to create a tower of flames 60 miles high, burning at temperatures hotter than the surface of the sun. Finn. You gotta do it. What? Dad, it's Finn. It's hard to get your arms around what's happening, but here's what we know. Cities are emptying out. The president has placed this entire nation on high alert. And as of now, we're hearing that three Sharknados have hit Charleston, wiping out the entire city. In fact, Sharknados have now been reported all up and down the East Coast. There's concern the storms will grow in frequency and then, of course, in size. How are we going to get to Cape Canaveral? That's out. No flow, we're good to go. Thanks, darling. So, your son's got himself in a little situation, huh? <laughs> Knowing Finn, he's just making it up as he goes along. I've been shot down over Da Nang, flamed out over Kuwait. Pretty sure I saw a UFO when I was in the space shuttle, but I would want to 
fight a shark. Are you okay? Yeah. I'll do this myself. You're my angel. So Neil says, you know, you know how serious Neil could be. Totally straight face. He says, Buzz, still think it'll be good on your resume. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's Finn Shepard. Yeah, it is. <laughs> oh, hi Finn. Well, we'll let, uh, we'll let you two talk. Hey, Dad. Ticket O'Malley's is closed. O'Malley sold the bar to his idiot kid who turned it into a fast food, funland, kitty monstrosity. So I bought it back, changed it into this. You know why? So I could have a place to come home to. That Claudia out there? Yeah. Wow. She's even prettier than her pictures. Do me a favor, huh? Just ask her to call me Colonel, okay? Yeah, sure thing. Who's the other one? Boy or girl? It's gonna be a surprise. You know, kid, the best thing you ever did is winning the heart of that cheerleader. Too bad you screwed it up so royally. Dad, I need your help. In fact, we all need your help. But I got a plan. These storms, they're gonna merge. And when they do, it's gonna destroy everything. Those bombs we dropped last time, it's not gonna cut it. We need to create a lot of heat in the eye to equalize the pressure. And then we need to give these storms a place to go and take these sharks with them so they don't rain down on millions of people. So you really are saving the world. How do I fit in? Gilbert Grayson Shepard, which you can call me Colonel. Sit down, darling. It's nice to meet you. Finn says you work at NASA. I was in the astronaut program. The shuttle solid rocket boosters and the engine combined could produce enough heat. It'd be like a column of flame that would dissipate the storm. Everyone knows the space shuttles are retired, kind of like me. A whole career never once got into outer space. Well. There always has been rumors about a secret military shuttle. Don't believe everything you hear. If there's some top secret classified shuttle, we have to use it. Millions of people are gonna die. This could be a chance to save them. You could save them. If this shuttle exists, we have to try. Divulging classified information will get you 25 years in Leavenworth. Maybe you could talk to your friend, the president, and he could help us out. I could ask. Josie, Shepard here. The Independence needs to fly. This wall now is collecting speed and size and forming into, and I can't believe I'm saying this, but a massive Sharknado wall that stretches literally up and down the East Coast. What is the safety zone for people who want to be away from this Sharknado Habu? 10 miles, 30, 100. 100 miles? We're less than 100 miles from there. That's right. Of course, the weather along the eastern seaboard from Canada to the Carolinas continues to be a downright apocalyptic with a massive low pressure trough dominating the region. Gilbert, I got your message. Are you crazy? Brian Jonesy Jones, NASA Administrator, meet my son Finley. Mr. Shepard, heard a lot about you. The Colonel can't stop talking about you. Can't? Look, I passed your message on to the White House. Everything's fine, but... But what? We're not ready. Look, we've only got independence at the 80% fuel capacity level. And you're gonna use that to dissipate the storm. And that means... I understand that. That's why I'm going on this mission alone. No, we're going alone. No, we're not. You heard what I said. It may not work, and you're going to be a new dad. I can handle this myself. It might not work is exactly why I have to go. What do you know about Sharknados? Why do you always have to be a hero? 
I'm gonna take your dad so he can prep the shovel. It's gonna be one hell of a father and son road trip. Sir, the Sharknado wall will hit the coast in 10 minutes. Okay, team, listen up. I know this is a last minute call up, but you are the ones to pull this off. I'm counting on you to complete the countdown process and launch You'll be fine. independence. The fate of the entire East Coast depends on it. Now get to work. Colonel, a thousand things that go wrong. Look, Ted, I don't think we have a lot of choices, huh? This is a Hail Mary at most. I'm not going to risk other people's lives with our plan. It's going to be me and my son. That's it. Me and my son. How about that? He's not prepared. He's never even flown the sim. Not open for discussion. Gilbert, listen. I know you helped design the flight systems, but this isn't a simulator. You've never actually flown a shark. Nobody has ever flown it through a Sharknado before. I'm as qualified as anyone. Just promise you'll be careful and keep her in one piece. For this to work, we gotta blast off at the right moment and find a hole in the wall. I don't think being careful is an option, guys. The shuttle would never make it through that wall. Not to mention the sharks. You all set, astronaut Shepard? I'm not an astronaut. That's my dad's gig. <laughs> You're going out into space, aren't you? Yeah. Last I checked, those were the only requirements. And don't worry about all that Buck Rogers stuff they talk about. It's not as hard as they make it seem. Computers do most of the work. It's not space I'm worried about. It's the sharks. Maybe the sharks help with the aliens. Aliens? <laughs> Just kidding. You good to go? Yeah. Safe flight. Fighter in the airship out there. I'm gonna try to clear it up for you. Well, being a hero, Nova. Oh, you're the only one who can take risks. By the way, your dad sent me to give this to you. I think he has a crush on me. I made some modifications of my own. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Hey, um, I've been meaning to tell you. I think you're gonna make a great father this time. Just don't die. Okay. I'll work on that. <laughs> you take care of yourself, though. No? I always do. Sharknado wall's moving in. Cut status. We're ready to go. Okay. You're really lucky. You guys are a great family. Thank you. It's kind of crazy, huh? I can't believe Finn's going up in that shuttle. He's what? He didn't tell you yet? No! Let's move it, people. We gotta get them in the air now. Independence control. We have to get you in the air now. You won't be able to launch if the wall reaches you. Okay. Finn! Finn, stop! Hey, what are you doing here? Get back down to mission control. You're not getting on that shuttle. You're coming back with me. It's not an option. Those sharks falling? 
They're going to hit the shuttle. Shouldn't we stop the launch? No, we'll send in the National Guard to protect the shuttle. I can't believe we're doing this and you didn't even tell me. Because I knew you'd talk me out of it. Son, we gotta go now. My mom was right. But what? That you don't know how to stop being a hero. This isn't about being a hero. This is about us. This is about our family. You seen what's going on outside? These storms, they, they just keep getting bigger. Every shark in the world must be flying around out there. If I can do this, maybe we get some peace. I'm coming back. And when I do, I'm never gonna leave you again. Promise? Finn, get up here now! I promise. I love you. and counting. The National Guard has arrived. Put yourself in front of the shuttle. Don't let any sharks hit it. Come on! 
They're gonna launch! We need to get inside! Nine, eight, seven, six, go for main engine start. Five, four, three, two, one, and lift off. Strategic Defense Initiative. Star Wars? I thought that didn't work. That's what you're supposed to think. And I've been working on it almost my entire career. It's probably why I didn't get to space until now. We've been redefining the technology for years. Got so much power now. If we fire that thing directly into the storm, it should ionize the water vapor and give us enough oomph to collapse it. Mission Control. Colonel Shepard? We're gonna try and use the SDI satellite system to fight this storm. I need to speak with Major René Jobert. The Sharknado has completely devastated the entire eastern seaboard. Half the nation's population is retreating to shelters. The government is unable to do anything to stop this disaster, but we're not leaving. No. You know, it's, um... It's been great working with you. Oh, Gilbert, mon ami. Bonjour, René. I hear you want to do something impossible and dangerous, which is not surprising. I know it sounds stupid, but uh, we need to reactivate our old science project to use against the storm. I need a startup sequence. Okay, okay, I'm sending you a common screen now. But you will have to target the weapons from new console. You know that? Colonel Shepard, NASA weather telemetry is locked onto your transmissions. Stand by. Can we get it? Off 
lines. You can't connect. Colonel, this is Director Regina. We're not hearing any response. Oh, the interface must have failed. She has been out there a long time, no? You, you have to reboot and target it manually, you know? I understand, Renee. Thank you. Prends soin de toi, mon ami. What does that mean? Oh, nothing. It just means they gotta go outside and give this old clunker a big, you know, kick in the butt. Dad! It's okay, pal. I'm living my dream. Flying in space? No. Being your hero. Give these wings to the baby. So the little one will always fly. I'll be all right. I've reached the rocket pack. I'm ready to leave the shuttle. Okay. Fuel tank. How can they retrieve Colonel Shepard? They can't. And he knew that. When I detach from the shuttle, you only have enough fuel left in your tank. Either come get me or to reorbit, but not enough for both. It's okay, son. I'm where I always wanted to be. The view is incredible. Close the hatch. 
your son? Son. Say hello to your brother. Hi. So, what's my godson's name? I think I'd like to name him after my dad. Gilbert. Gil. Where's my wings? I see it. It's right there. Take the